folks love to reminisce about the good old days when everybody made small square bales and stacked them by hand. And while this is still a popular method of haymaking today, it can be very labor intensive. Thankfully, there is another way. Enter the round baler. Instead of packing the hay into square bales, it rolls it up. Hay is fed through the machine into a series of belts and rollers, which form it into a bale. As the bale grows, the belts maintain pressure until it gets big enough to trigger a mechanism that wraps the entire thing in plastic netting. Once it's complete, the back door opens and the finished bale rolls out. Depending on size and moisture content, a bale like this can weigh up to 1,200 pounds. And speaking of moisture, dry hay should be under 20% water or else it'll get moldy and spoil. This particular bale is around 50%, which means it's headed to the bale wrapper. The wrapper spins and rolls the bale while surrounding it in layers of airtight plastic. Without oxygen, the hay will ferment into silage instead of spoiling which means it can be safely stored, then fed to hungry cattle months from now. Making hay like this sure beats doing it the old fashioned way. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to wrap things up. And that is the way it works. Hi, thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. If you like this story, leave us a comment. If you want to see more, check out our playlists. We've got videos of cute animals, big machines, delicious farm-to-table recipes, and more.